Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we are going to discuss about appendicitis. We are going to see what is appendicitis is, what are the symptoms of it, causes, complications, tests, treatment and prevention. So let's get started. What is appendicitis? Appendicitis means inflammation of the appendix. The appendix is a finger-like tube in the right lower part of your abdomen. When it becomes inflamed, it is called as appendicitis. Now let's see what are the symptoms of it. Sudden pain that begins on the right side of your lower abdomen. Sudden pain that begins around the navel and often shifts to the right lower abdomen. Pain that worsens with coughing and walking. Nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, low grade fever, constipation or diarrhea, gas formation and abdominal bloating. Now let us see what are the causes of, of this condition. Appendicitis happens when the inside of your appendix is blocked. Appendicitis may be caused by various infections such as virus, bacteria or parasites in your digestive tract. Your large intestine is home to many bacteria and if too many become trapped in your appendix, they overgrow and cause an infection. Other causes may include enlarged lymphoid follicles, tumors and abdominal trauma. Now let us see what are the complications. The first complication is the ischemia and necrosis. Severe swelling in your appendix cuts off the blood supply called as ischemia which increases the inflammation and eventually causes the tissues to start to decay called as necrosis. Next complication is the gangrene or perforation. Once necrosis sets in, infection can spread. It may spread slowly through internal gangrene or quickly when your appendix tears or bursts called as perforation. Next complication is the abscess and phlegmon. Abscess is a pocket of pus on the outside of your appendix. The appendix can also develop a mass around itself called a phlegmon. These masses contain the infection and they can burst. Next complication is the peritonitis. When infection spreads into your peritoneal cavity, it is called as peritonitis. It can spread to other organs and even to your bloodstream called as septicemia. Infection in your bloodstream can lead to sepsis and septic shock which can be fatal. Now let us see diagnostic tests. The first test is the blood test. This test checks for a high WBC white blood cell counts. A high white blood cell count may indicate an infection. High levels of C-reactive protein in your blood may mean you have appendicitis. Next test is a urine test. You may have to take a urine test, also called a urinalysis. A urinalysis makes sure that a urinary tract infection or a kidney stone isn't causing your pain. Imaging test. You may also have imaging tests to help confirm appendicitis or find other causes for your pain. These tests may include an abdominal x-ray, an abdominal ultrasound, a CT scan or an MRI. Now let us see the treatment. Medications. Antibiotics are a standard preventive treatment before surgery. If you have a very early and mild case of appendicitis, your healthcare provider might take a wait and watch approach to see if your condition improves with antibiotics alone. In severe cases, surgery will be performed. Surgery to remove the appendix. Appendectomy is a surgery to remove the appendix. Appendectomy can be performed as laparoscopic or as open surgery to remove the appendix. Now let us see the prevention. Foods you should eat. Foods rich in fiber are recommended as appendicitis seems less likely if you have a fiber rich diet such as oats or wheat gram whole wheat flour instead of all-purpose flour, brown rice instead of white rice, fresh fruits for dessert, 
and foods which are need to be avoided are processed fried and junk foods that are fatty and can irritate the digestive system should be avoided alcohol should be avoided as it harms the liver and thus affects digestion red meat contains a lot of fat and is difficult to digest should be avoided sugary foods items like cakes pastries etc should be avoided please like share and subscribe to expert medical coding thanks for watching